What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am Kaya. So, welcome, and I hope you subscribe, and I hope you guys love this video. Let's get into it. <music> Today, y'all, I really need to get my bed and stuff together. Like, even though I don't like being in this dorm because I just be feeling like it be, I'm living in a motel, literally. Um, I can still make it from a motel to a three-star hotel. Um, but today is lab so i'm gonna take you guys to with me through labs i have class at 10 i don't even have my watch on i have class at 10 but i think it's like 9 20 ish going 9 30 so i'm gonna get myself ready put on my scrubs and go i gotta pee why well, i gotta go to the restroom um put on my scrubs y'all yeah, passed my test yesterday and and i had the highest score and i was an 82 but she got she gotta go back and add two points for the for one of the questions so it'll be an 84 but like i had the high score and i was like shocked i'm like dang me it was a nursing exam too and i, I studied i was actually kind of sad on some of the stuff but i got the high score out of the whole class and i was very shocked about myself very shocked but luckily today is the seventh i think and it's crazy because y'all i had let me be getting up when i'm talking to y'all um, I had just, I was just going through, like, I guess, maybe my scrub, scrub, some my scrub here. It might be. Oh, we gotta stretch a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's my shirt. But I didn't get, like, one of the RA positions. And it's, and I was very sad about it. I ain't even gonna lie to you. But it's crazy because literally they got a text i got a text from them this morning saying um hey you didn't sign up for the sign up genius for a so please go and do that i'm like i guess they just never really sent it out to me i really don't know so y'all see these that's not my side of this it looks bad but it's okay um so that's actually very good news, I guess, a little bit to me. Um, hopefully, they have a few socks. Put some socks on these. But, um, oh yeah, I passed my test yesterday. I was very shocked. I was like, oh, okay, guy, look at you. Pass him with the highest score in the class. So, today I have labs. Like I said, I'm going to record practically my day for you guys. So, on top of labs, I have labs from 10 to 4. I'm going to be editing a video from when I was at work at Foot Locker. So, make sure you guys, hopefully that video is out by now. Because it's going to take a good time for me to edit that video. But I'm trying to edit that video and get it up today. No later than tomorrow. Um, 4 o'clock. So, I'm going to edit from, like, 12 to 1 because that's my break between class. And then, I'm done with class at 4. I have a chapter meeting for AKA. I'm going to show you my outfit for that. I'm not really going to, like, take y'all to the meeting. But I'll probably, like, record with me just, like, sitting in there probably listening and engaging. So, and then after that, that's really my Tuesday. Yeah, today Tuesday. Tuesday. Today, Tuesday. So... I'm gonna go ahead and put on my clothes and not catch y'all in class. I have check off, so y'all actually gonna I'm gonna record my check off for you guys. It's vital signs and respiratory rate and heart rate. So stay tuned and I'll see y'all when I finish changing and getting myself. Okay, y'all. Oh look at the lighting. A little lighting is that this bad. But, um, just left. Probably pop up the phone like I did normally. And show y'all my fit. But I ain't gonna do it over here. There's so much grass and stuff around me. And for some reason, I hope y'all can't even hear me. I probably should get one of them little things. 
Mm. It's just been wet. Like it right now, it's just wet. Two class pretty early. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm going to pop right here. How do I get this? Look at the writing. This is legit the height. This is the height. Okay. That's the outfit. But we're 938 for nice to yeah, but the lighting is so cute. It looks like it's going to rain though. It gives rainy vibes. My little thing over there. Let me show you how. I ain't in that rush to go nowhere, Nelly. Look at that. Service to all of my kind. I'm flipping you. Okay. And the class. It's crazy because my Bible skills check off are literally in the morning. But I feel confident. Like, I feel like I got it anyway. So, I wonder if she's going to let us practice. Like, once or twice. Probably not. Yeah, the Memphis Airport is literally, like, five minutes away from my school. Like, that's how I'll be hearing them be so loud because... I don't know if y'all heard them, but I heard them be loud as loud as freak. But I'm almost at this class, so I'll see y'all when I get in the classroom. Wash your hands, just come in and wash your hands with the hand sanitizer. It's not a big deal. Okay. Amy, do you want to know whenever you're ready? I'm ready. You just go for it. Okay. I'll play too much. I'm sorry. You're fine. You're fine. Hi. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm fine. How about you? I'm good. My name is Kaya. I'll be your student nurse today and I'll be taking your vital signs. Do you have any questions or anything for me today? Um, what vital signs are you taking? Right now I'm going to be taking your blood pressure, then I'll be taking your respiratory and heart rate. Yes, ma'am. All right, so if you don't mind, can you first um, yeah, raise your sleeve up for me? Uh, three. You can rest your arm. Just checking, and I feel it right there. You got a good one, actually. I can feel that one good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blood pressure cuff on there. You got a little small arm, so you gotta make the best. Everybody always call them all really small. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make Ooh, it. Ooh, you know, they got it right there. Still feel it? All right, are you still doing okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, I'll put it up to 140. So. Blood pressure was 120 over 78. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have that for you written down. Your arm feel okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and check. Get pulled. 
this. Is it wet? Okay, make sure it's the same here. Okay. So for your pulse, I had it. For your pulse, I had it at forty-two. Hold on. Do my math, yeah. Do my math all the way around right now. Two fours. For the respiratory rate, it was fourteen, and then for the pulse, it was eighty-two. I'm sure I was like, something wrong. <laughs> I was like, I was doing my math wrong. I'm doing my math wrong. Make sure you circle regular and irregular there. Yeah. It was good too. You kind of felt it jump into me. That's right. like, oh. Yeah, my, my game is taking my math. I was waiting. going to the hospital. She, she <laughs> I was like, wouldn't finish it. I was just So I just took my bodies and that turned out good. So I'm finna probably not this uh well this part um yeah dig on the bottle so that's good so we were supposed to be practicing but probably not because we leave out here at 12 and it's like 11 49 so i'm hungry i'll see you after this lab okay so I went to lunch, my hands was full up because I had like a pizza and I also had got some cheese to put my videos. So I couldn't record it. Dang, I got plastic cups. I had to get a coffee cup. Oof. So, I'm gonna do this one. I'll get you guys in class when we're gonna eat and yeah, edit this video. Setting up a sterile field and sterile gloving. And then we will introduce medication administration. All right, so the PPE information and the skills related to it, last week, we would have talked about this last week, but you know, the eyes, the weather, we didn't. So first few, minutes we're going to talk about PPE hand hygiene and infection control and then we will begin the discussion on medication administration okay and that's what you'll need your your bags for all right so let's talk a little bit about infection prevention <clears throat> There are some concepts here, these objectives, that you guys should know, but what we'll talk about today is the difference between surgical and medical asepsis.
thing you do is put on your gown. So you guys should have a gown in front of you. Maybe smell funny. Now in the hospital, your gown won't be cloth like this. It may be plastic. Okay. And also, the plastic gown may have a little thumb hole right here where you can put your thumb through there. And then when you put your gloves on, it automatically covers that cuff. Okay, so there. You'll want to tie up top as well. Okay. So next is your mask. Okay. Your mask on. If I had goggles, my goggles would be next. If I had a face shield, can I get one? I don't have that many, but you guys can. Thank you. I don't have that many. Next will be your face shield. Okay, okay. and then last is your gloves. extend past your wrist and also this is what we typically do you get your cuff You can actually put your glove here because it's going to fit tight. There's some cuffs that's really tight, like a thick band, it's kind of tight. You can pull it over. You just want your wrist covered. Okay. All right. Taking off. Work. Let's make this bed up over here because that's worrying me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to teach people to clean up after themselves. So I'm gonna leave it just like that, just like I do my son at work. I mean, at home, not at work. <laughs> at home, I'm gonna leave those dishes right there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay, so <laughs> let's say we then we go in, we do what we need to do. Sorry, Faith. Now it's time to take off. So what do we take off first? Gloves. 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 This is so confusing to students sometimes. Like, oh, why do I take my gloves off first? This is the most contaminated. I want to touch my back and everything with my, my gross hands. Yes. Oh, my right. Now, you can either use the duck beak method or you can just sit down. And I'm going to blow it off. Can 
nice little package, throw in the trash. Okay, what's next? Face shield, mask, I mean right. face shield. So if I had a face shield on, take that. You're reaching behind your head, right? So if I had on goggles, I'm reaching back here. Okay. Then Huh? Don't you start with the bottom strap of your gown so that you can pull the top off and just tie the shoulders up? Well, the overall width of it is that you untie both. So you can start here, start or start here. You just have to untie both, okay? Only touching the back side. I want to just wiggle out of the way. Okay. So now you only want to touch the inside of this gown. Don't touch the outside with your hands. This is contaminated. Definitely contaminated. Okay. So you want to go inside of this gown. You only want to touch the inside, and I didn't untie my back. <laughs> you only want to touch the inside of your gown and fold it, fold it. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize I didn't untie and you're only touching the inside and you fold it and you put it in the garbage. What's last? Mask. Mask. And, and you pull mask. from the back. And you pull your mask off from the back. That's the last thing you remove. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you put warm hand hygiene. Warm hand hygiene. Okay. Sounds easy, looks easy until it's on a test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm thinking about the test now. I feel like the test should just be there. I feel like I should go. I feel like it's going to be a good test. I just put how to take it off. I broke what's on it. So, when you get home, we need gloves. Thank you. I thought you were going to say this is that good. No way. And you want to make sure that the paper doesn't put back on it. So you don't want to close back up. So if you want to take those leaflets off your bed and stretch it pretty good. <laughs> Hold on, let's make some adjustments. <laughs> I don't think mine is still. Wait, wait, it's still. It's like they've been in storage for a long time. Long time. These go small. Okay. Yeah. So we'll switch it up. I don't think it'll do that. I want to switch the bottom one. Let me pick it up. Then I can. This isn't sterile. Thank you. This one, the new level. Okay. 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 Oh, no. I'm 
You guys, these are actually surgical gloves. The gloves here are just regular gloves you'll find on the floor. But the, <laughs> the um, but it has a size on it like this, seven and a half, eight. I think it, it starts at like a size five glove. The I need an eight. Say, I need a seven and a half. She's not talking about a shoe. Or she's not talking about a shoe. Ooh. My glove size. I need an eight. <laughs> <laughs> So those are actually surgical gloves, all right? So that's it, y'all. You do have to practice though, yeah. because it's oh. nerve wracking when you're trying to get your catheter stuff together and then you're trying to put your steel gloves on, okay? So now that I have my sterile gloves on, touch anything here in my sterile field. Okay? So, sterile items can touch sterile items. I realized they didn't show y'all my meeting my like outfit for my chapter meeting like i've been busy i went to wendy's and everything but i'm still editing one video but that was my outfit second outfit for today for my chapter meeting so i'm gonna see y'all after i probably finish <laughs> we'll see so i'm on the way to the gym i didn't go in it with friends because i just didn't um well let me rephrase that. Friends are getting food, but I've had kind of like a little moment with friends lately. So I'm trying to go talk to Wayne. who we'll cook and she works at the gym. So trying to go see that. Probably after that, I'm still editing the video from work. Like today actually wasn't that long of a day. Like it really wasn't much. Had class, obviously I passed my vitals. If y'all heard from the video when she was like, Y'all passed, y'all did fine. Y'all just want to see how the procedure was. So, yeah. The only thing I think I really forgot to tell y'all was when I decided to go get food because I was literally talking on the phone. And I was like, it's 4.30. My chapter meeting is in an hour. Will I have time, y'all? It literally took me a whole hour. Because, like, the traffic over there be so bad. But it's okay because I have figured it out. I literally rolled in that hell at <laughs> 5.30, but it didn't even start till 5.40, so literally 5.40 on the dot, ended at 7.40, but that's fine. But right now I'm walking to the gym because, like I said, you talk to a friend. Because one thing I've noticed, yeah, you never know who your true friends are or not, but also, just like relationships, friends are also going to have fallouts, and it's up to you regardless whether you figure it out or not, and try not to insert your past into your present and future. So, so I've been like practically trying and this looks like a little long walk with Donna. It's really not this cool, short, not even that far walk. But yeah, trying to go talk to a friend. It got a little dark right here, but I catch y'all probably later when I'm in the gym, probably just doing something, showing y'all. Mm -hmm. But I'll see y'all short. Okay, y'all, so I'm not even gonna talk about that, but um, I'm really finna go in now and just finish editing. So I hope, I hate that it wasn't this long of a video, but hopefully I can be able to produce, not produce, well, still give y'all more future content and longer ones about my productive days at nursing school and really just a whole day as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next freaking video.